Welcome back to another video. So let's see, we have the following case study part over here. This has been converted from an STL into a mesh. And uh, afterwards, you're going to see that the model has some, um, some slight problems. For example, over here in the back, we have the following sketch. So we have multiple circles over here aligned at a distance of 40 millimeters. And afterwards, we're going to do an extrude cut. And the main problem is that if I will take a look over here at this one, for example, this will be perfectly cut all the way through. But as I will advance more closer to the edge, over here to the, um, the top edge, we're going to see this will be again well defined. But over here on the back, you're going to see that we have some slight problems over here. These are mainly due to the conversion. If I will swap the visibility over here, the main problem is that since this was initially, initially a mesh and it was converted to a solid body, over here we still have some over overlapping faces. And one of those overlapping faces will not be cut in this case. As we can see over here, this edge will be linked to various elements over here. So let's see. If I were to define a new plane over here, I will go to Construct, Offset, and I want to offset a plane um, from here. I will go to the back of the part. I see that I'm slightly extended over here from the from the part. I want to create a new sketch on this newly defined plane. And I will go and um, pan all the way uh, to the left. So hold down Alt. I will press C to define a new circle. Let's say that I want to make this um, one, millimeter, one millimeter in diameter. I can also have this constraint, for example, all the way to the bottom at a distance of 1.5. I can define a new one. And again, I want to make that as well um, to have diameter of 1 and to be positioned from the bottom at 1.5. So it's not mandatory to, to define lines when you are sketching. You can just make use of uh, the profile and smart dimension to do that. But now let's see how the, this cut will work. So I will finish that sketch and I will go to extrude. And I have those two profiles that I want to do the extrude cut. I will send them inwards and automatically Fusion will detect that this will be a cut. I can also increase the distance over here so I can go to the part. But again, we're going to have the same overlapping faces over here. So for the objects to cut, it's still the same component. So this will just be one component over here, as we can see, arch one mirror. But if I will click OK, we're going to have Fusion do that cut. It will do a little bit of processing time since this is an uh, converted STL mesh. But again, it will look like that since there will be a slight um, fill over there. So quite similar to, to a boundary fill. For example, um, over here where I have a cut that has been done all the way through. If I will go to surface and I will have this patched, it's the same thing happening over there. So for example, we're going to have a thin surface that will be covered. And that thin surface is um, present over there from the conversion because there were some, um, some problems with that conversion. It doesn't have any thickness. Because if I will do a um, section analyze over here, let's see, I can use um, this plane as a, as a reference, so that one. Again, it will take a little bit more time to process since this was is a converted geometry. And now if I will go with flip, and I will move all the way to that cut. 
see this is the um, end part i will move it over here okay so we have that cut that cut is present over there so if the main intent is to use this as a 3d printed part it shouldn't be any problem because actually we don't have any thickness over there so keep that in mind it will just be uh, visible as a as a field so the same th those two new cuts that i defined on the part as we can see again we have no thickness over there but we have some slight uh, visualization um, and if i will expand this all the way to the um, surface field that i did previously which i think is over here we just zoom in to make sure yeah so we see that that fill surface so the same thing happens over here keep in mind that that newly defined um, fill doesn't have any thickness so if i will go over here and i want to add a thickness i can go to modify let's see so thick thickness is not under modify but i will use it over here so under create I can select that and I want to add over here, for example, 0.5 millimeters. And we're going to have that added. So if I will remove the analysis, that section cut. That's mainly what happens over here. And we have that, um, that weird feeling. So that patch has been filled over here. But keep in mind that there is no actual geometry added over there just a surface since within the conversion there were some uh, some problems therefore i highly recommend uh, to check some videos regarding um, fusion mesh conversions because there are some other tools that can be used for example over here i have a case study with uh, an ai generated um, reindeer which is this one and the model had um, quite a lot of problems and over here we have the mesh conversion where we have those triangles and um, they can be converted and there are various changes that can be done for example we can use the reduce feature over here and we can weld some of those uh, vertices and therefore we're going to have less problems later um, down the workflow so this was regarding um, problems that can appear when we are working with converted meshes for this geometry since uh, this is quite simple i would recommend to, to have it rebuild directly from uh, from sketches because the geometry is not complex this is an stl model and as we can see the model is not that uh, well defined for example we have this um, cylinder that will end in a cone and will be positioned over here so this is quite um, quite a weird mesh it looks to be modeled not in a computer aided design software um, maybe in something like blender or, or rhino since the str has um, a lot of let's say odd shapes but this is the case study part that i received from, uh, from one of my subscriber and uh, he asked me what is happening over here with those feelings because the cut has been done but um, we still have that surface over here since we ha still have a triangle surface that will cover that but that will not have any any thickness as we saw also regarding the cut that um, that was created on the file that i open we see this is a sketch and we see that in this case the cut will uh, go over here so it will do some uh, inward cutting over here so keep that in mind when you are further working with this part but again i would suggest to use this as a reference and just start and um and sketch around it clean for example we can define a new sketch over here we can define a new rectangle you can also snap it through various points on that mesh and you can do a clean um, a clean geometry and afterwards you won't have any problems with uh, with those you can go with this you can extrude it extrude uh, for example five millimeters 
Again, it will process a little bit slower since we have all that history with that mesh converted. And Fusion will um, use that. So we see that in this case, um, it will have some problems since it's overlapping that. So mainly, I think it's better to just add it as an STL, measure it and have it uh, rebuild separately because the geometry is not uh, complex. We don't have any angles over here. They are mostly extruded uh, based on to normal direction. So we have the Y, Z and X and, uh, and so on. Okay, so I hope um, that you find this video useful and also others that want to give Fusion a try to um, do some reverse engineering. Because in some cases, this is a lot faster than Katia. We see that uh, even for this, Fusion managed to convert this quite easily, but with Katia, it's a lot hard to, to have this converted and uh, work with this STL as a solid body. Okay, so that's it. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So thanks for watching.